Hello, so this is going to be the third part in the Face Breaker run uh, up to, well, I don't know if I'll actually take those on the maps, but I'll probably take all the maps. It's just whether really not record at all. But this is going to be the third part. Uh, for the first four minutes of this video, I had taken a break between streams because I'm not streaming the SRS popcorn. It's, well, I'm streaming the SRS popcorn, but I'm not recording it for YouTube because uh, it's just me running maps, sort of zooming through maps. Uh, on the previous part, we made it to the crossroads in Act 2 with the Facebreaker build, so uh, this is basically sort of an after-action report for the first four minutes of the video, because I had my mic muted due to uh, muting it between streams. So this, this was streamed live, though I'm too new of a streamer for anyone to actually uh, watch the videos uh, in situ, so I think, I think there was one viewer that watched for like 30 seconds. Uh, I think they even made a comment, um, though I didn't catch the comment, because I think it was still running at 20 seconds delay, so I'm, I'm not even sure I caught their comment uh, while they were actively watching, so I think they might have stopped watching before I responded to their comment. Uh, if you end up watching the recording the whole way through, you'll probably hear me responding to their comment. Um, I suppose this is also, also the uh, act where I realized at some point I should probably get a gap closer or uh, dash move sort of thing. Though I haven't actually yet equipped the character with it, I'll probably equip the character with it during my downtime uh, before the next part. Yeah, so this I'm basically running a little bit of voiceover until four minutes in where I'll hand it over to uh, original me, uh, who will at that point have recognized that he is on mute and can't be heard. Uh, but yeah, basically it's crossroads up to the Chamber of Sins here. Um, on the bottom floor, we need to defeat uh, Pieties. I think it's uh, Miscreations is what it's called in game, but basically Pieties Frankenstein. Um, her first Frankenstein. Uh, and with that, uh, basically on the way there is when I'll, I'll be mute. Um, but th this video is going to be all of Act Two. Uh, besides the little bit that was recorded in the last part, uh, it will end when we get into the the town in, in Part Three. Um, and I'll sort of struggle the entire way because I forget to get a gap closer uh, until uh, I think just before Oak. At which point I actually don't find a way to buy the sort of gap closer this character would actually be able to use um, and, and give up and end up completing the rest of the act uh, even without the gap closer. Basically just realizing right there that uh, the large mana flask or large life flask that I went past would be better than the medium one I had slotted so just went back and picked it up. Pick the waypoint, which in, in practice you usually don't need to use uh, ever again, but I picked it up in case something goes wrong and I need to use it to come back. Uh, and yes, the, the original voice was be kicking around about four minutes, so I'm, I'm just giving you a heads up what's going on uh, in after action report reform uh, before we make it down there. So, it shouldn't be that much longer. It's about a minute into the next floor. Uh, where I recognize that I'm muted. Uh, after actually going down to dead end, so we're gonna take a right turn here and go down to dead end. And uh, I think this is a might be a Val version of the map. I end up uh, actually going pretty much a whole the wrong directions before I get to the piety on this map. Uh, it isn't the best showing, but it is ends up happening every once in a while is you take a wrong direction, even when you know roughly how the map looks. Uh, so at this point, I was actually expecting it to continue going straight up, but this is this room in particular is one of the newer versions of the room on this map. Uh, and by the time I was in it, I realized, oh, this is not the way I should be going. Um, so uh, this this point, I should be coming back in. So I'm gonna go mute and uh, catch with you later. Just recognized that I had the mic muted the entire time. That's not great. I'll have to do a voiceover for the beginning of this one as well. Oh dear. Don't need to go that way. Right when I speak, I'm not hearing it. Uh, I come back into my mic, which is a sign that I hadn't uh, unmuted the mic. I'm 
feel like I'm going that way. I feel like I'm going that way. It's probably because I am going that way. Yeah. I've gone every possible wrong way on this map already. Oh dear. Usually they put the trial and pint at different ends, but apparently they were the same ends today. Long going hallway. It probably means I'm actually finally going the right way. Oh, there we go. Hello, fighty. Go and take your fill. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll get rid of your Frankenstein monster for you. Gem. And are we high enough level to use anything yet? Nope, it's 24 for the next one, so portal out. I suppose this is not off to the greatest start, because I already lost the game. Well, well, say I lost. Never clicked in the first place. Didn't click the audio in the first place for the first uh, basic map map. I have. Oh, I have to re record audio for a bit on one of the other videos, so we're not necessarily losing all that much that we didn't already lose as far as my work time. Yeah, you're getting too lucky, you'll listen. Quicksilver to run forward, yay! Was worth doing the first time through on the maps, probably not only during this, but I don't quite have the damage DPS to make it worth while. It would just be worth better doing this what I was doing earlier on the previous stream, which was uh, being on the popcorn to get gold and leaking kind of glue. Not what we're looking for. Surprising. Only really that second hit didn't kill him. The right place looks to be further ahead. Yeah, it was um, put a side entertainment quest thing in here. I'm just not doing because I wasn't there on the league it was added, so I don't know why it's there. Probably there for good reason, but I have not done that reason. Into the crypt. Uh, do we need to go down to level two? I feel like we need to go down to level two for the thing we're looking for. Not here for the labyrinth. Uh, we're here for the skill point. Guys, 
Killing one is effectively the unique of this gun run. Oh, I just grabbed open we don't need. This is a weapon let's build after all. We kill things by punching the floor. Not even punching the enemy, just punching the floor in the general direction. This is where the guy should be to get our kill point. I have changed the push to mute from pause, so I don't need to be worried about accidentally muting myself. I just realized I was having that problem. Well, remember, it has been that problem yesterday. Uh, that was in long arc, so I had that problem. So, if you've just been watching the Pad of Exile stuff, uh, you might not notice that. Maybe you would. Well, only the last part has audio for it to get muted, so... Maybe, maybe you wouldn't anyway. Or maybe you would, now that I'm thinking about it, that. That build did need to... Did have dash on, on spacebar, so there's even possibility that I was muting myself every time I tried to dash. Oh, wait, no, the last part was on this character. So, well, I still probably could have been muting myself every time I tried to dash. Just this character, you know, can't dash. So that would have been even even more ridiculous doing it every once in a while. Uh, have we found him yet? This is his room. Should be here, right on the end. There he is. We came here, especially for you. Actually, I think technically I don't even need to kill you. I don't even need the thing from your altar. Yeah, I just need the thing from your altar. And now we can leave. So, that magic guy is being earned the dubious honor of getting punched in the general direction of. Okay, where are we going next? Uh, I cannot have attack, I have assumed. Nah. Armor. No. Uh, I know there's another one that we're looking for. Not blood magic. It's another one of that style. Dependence? No. 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 I might want that on the uh, SRS build. That's what a resolute thing. It can't be avoided. That's what we're going next. That way, we can guarantee that we hit things, which is always valuable. I am the white. Uh, I don't actually want this order now. Not the order I wanted. They prove to you. You and the road. That situation. Swung twice at him, but only one did damage. Well, can't evade, then all do damage. Here, yeah, once more, one misses. That is the enemy's evasion, which will go away if I get 
Uh, major ability that I was looking at earlier. Okay, this build is right now basically a guy running around naked punching things with the odd unique. Uh, I should probably fix that at some point, but at the moment it's working, so why change what ain't broke? The answer is because it would be even Trouble. better. No. Might be a choice that is better than just uh, telling them, but that requires more thought process than just playing wall, so all will die. Uh, the hands of Mr. I punch the ground. I'm learning more and more that I would have benefited from having that ability to hit things without, uh, without requiring more to say earlier. Miss more. It's surprising that a uh, it's half the screen AOE like that can actually miss, but it can. Basically pointing back to base, which is kind of making this walk this time being wasted because I could just pull the portal up, but saving a portal scroll by walking over here. Not that a portal scroll is all that important. Last is repair. Oak is probably actually the one that is uh, most likely to be a problem because of Oak's uh, region. The other ones is just avoid their hits while delivering the damage, which is not hard to do. I feel like that was not worth the time I put into it, but it happened. It's done. I was remembering because I don't have a gap closer or opener. I have to take the long way around every time the bridge is out. Oh dear. Why you usually want flame dash or leap slam by now? Probably go pick up if I spend time actually checking my quest boards. Okay, which quest boards which? Bridges out over here. Gonna have to find the bridge. 50 50, did I pick right? I did pick right. Yay! Get back in the road quick. Did you guess which way to go on the bridge out? I am correct again. Yeah. 
No level, and there goes Resolute Technique. Where to go next? Not Blood Magic. Cold, could do Cold Arms. I think they changed something. Uh, oh, no longer grants buffs or charges to you. Well, that's, that's no good. That's a change. That's what they changed. The change made it completely worthless for the way, the way I play. Ooh, the hit points, we should probably got some hit points. Uh, cause we got hit points because of the elite here. We're writing lots of stuff. I have lots of stats, not necessarily because I have enough hit points picked up. Boost cost of skills and max life? Yeah, we'll probably go, probably go both his life modes. Then we'll go looking for more damage. Uh, but I'll be done with the act by then, so I'll have more time to fly on that will be. Well, as a homemade sort of YOLO, you only live once build. Um, so I won't spend too long thinking about it here, because uh, in theory everything right now is cheap to fix with the league mechanic. If I do screw something up, I need to do a lot of respecking. Because there's a decent chance I will have to come back. Well, there's a decent chance I will be going right back up the road. Five seconds I have to come down it. Yes, that's to Alira on the Alira path. So we're gonna clear the way back to Act One. Then we're gonna go to Alira. Then we're gonna go to the Spider. And then we're gonna go do Oak. Oh, is the plan. our skill points at that point. Uh, that should be like three, maybe four more skill points. Two. I've lost track of how many skill points. There'll be, there'll be a bunch of skill points. Might only be two. So here's the path that goes to over there. find that spider. Then we'll go deal with an oak. And probably at that point I will finally stop being dumb and figure out how to get closer. because uh, I'm pretty sure it's just one of the NPCs I gotta talk to. We'll take one out. Wow, well, I might also need the um, gem slot, because I've basically been running around as a naked guy punching things. Uh, a little bit better than naked, though. Right. I've got a shield, got a helmet. I think I'll have some boots at some point. Some point. Oh, we got we got a belt. The belt's probably holding up the proverbial uh, There will be a loin cloth, so my character gets uh, more sun exposure than I do. So
I tend to do a flame dash out of sheer wanting to get where I to go for us faster, only to immediately remember. Yeah, you just commented on that five seconds ago that you don't have that. Uh, I mean, I don't care as well. We go this way. Looks like that'll take me to the portal. There's the portal. Hello, Weaver. <laughs> sort out instead of waiting until after Oak to get the gap closer, I'll do it right now. A little bit of spoiler coming from future me uh, relative to this video. Uh, in the end, I do not find that gap closer, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit of a skip ahead here just to speed it up a little bit, because you don't need to watch me try to find uh, a, a, a dash that will actually work. Leaps. On the other hand, you can see I end up finding like three passive skill points. Okay, back back to me live in the video. So I need to get the health. Make me healthier. Yeah, I'm gonna have lots of health. I could probably do more damage, but we're getting health instead. Because it's what's available. Hello. Can you sell me a flame dash? Dash. Uh, actually, no, we'll just go straight. Oh, no, don't go the decks. You have flame. You do not. Yes. Uh, two yeah. Red slots. Red slots at all. Got a bunch of skill points though, so we got a lot more hit points. I think really to pick those hit points or to get the damage hits, but uh, hit points, we got lots of hit points. Okay, what am I doing right here? Usually, across from you is the way. So, why did I not find the way? Maybe there's a valve side zone? Okay, well that's the way. Yeah, maybe there's a valve side zone in that particular seed. I was making it harder to find than it needed to be. Okay, right, so the lack of damage here might make this fight a little annoying. Not because he's going to be particularly painful, but because I'm going to be doing particularly little damage, and he has re because of regen ability. But uh, once we deal with the oak, then we can move on to basically he's the, he's the mini boss. This I'm going to move on getting to the act boss real quick. I give you to my ancestors. Regenning too fast. We'll make this doable. Oh, 
be fair, as far as this build is concerned, I was like, totally being carried the first regular. I don't feel like I'd have the damage with the uh, stick I was using previous to face breaker. Uh, so I think Face Breaker was doing all the heavy lifting there and the rest of the build was kind of letting Face Breaker down. But uh, that was enough to get through what's effectively the mini boss of this act. You're in the way. So you will have to take Fist. My character has to Fist. Again and again and again, because that's how it does damage. Not worth doing. That's the way out. So we click the waypoint. And the roots just to get the thing out of the inventory. Say hello to the guy who's going to give us a skill point. To his uh, Aramir. Aramir here. The Lords of Thank you. Gave me my apex. Also gave me an XP. Uh, which will we use to path? Here, how do I want to path there? Probably here. Go there. No regen. Might, might pop down that regen after we get the life. Uh, being able to remove a bunch of regen from enemies just by being in their proximity is always nice. Hello! Does look like I have uh, a V or who's saying hello? Hello! It's so basically very quickly doing uh, Act 2 on this Facebreaker build. The problem made Facebreaker build. Sort of chatting myself as we go along. Uh, if I get around to uh, fixing the audio issues I had in the earlier videos, I'll have uh, the earlier videos also going up to YouTube. Uh, so you can see this character from when it started on the beach. And the trials and tribulations of uh, starting with a stick to do what is effectively this space record build. Not that I think this space record build is super fancy. Uh, but one third in that video, I didn't have the mic audio working right, so you can hear the game, but not me speaking about it, so I'll have to do a sort of an after action report while recapturing that for upload to YouTube. Uh, the YouTube username is basically the same as the Twitch one, plus um, 100 at the end, so 100 at the end. I'm just casually rolling through. Uh, act 2 at this point. Uh, that's where I'm going to stop at the end of Act 2. Uh, probably take a short break, then maybe swap it to a different game. And this build at the moment is, as you can probably see, um, not wearing very much equipment. So it's showing you just the raw power of uh, Facebreaker when it comes online. First time. Uh, but I have to rely a little bit more on the tree from this point on to keep getting more damage. Even though right now I'm kind of ignoring the concept of getting more damage off the tree and just picking up more life and stuff. Well, that's why this map looks so weird. It's got a Val Cider in it. Does look like this is the way to go. Maybe. Nope. Dead end. Going the wrong way. All the way up to dead end. Okay, so let's let's try to use the quick slower nos to get back on the right path. Uh, hopefully it's not over there and I'm going that way again.
Looks like this is the right path. Uh, with the balance line area, I'm not used to how the right path should look like, so we'll find out if this is actually the real path in a couple seconds when we find the thing that makes it perpetually nice this hack. There it is. So this is the right path. Open the ancient seal. Ancestors, forgive me. I have opened the way to Kitama, father of corruption. As our towery friend here comments on him and his mistakes. Bit of a shame that this guy don't yet has uh, voice lines after Act 5. If he has, I haven't played him since he's got them. Slowing down for too long about. Oh, definitely not doing that. Still wishing I had that gap. Gap over there, gap over. Two shots saying I had to do a throw 30 seconds. Better than the existing flask. So, and the inventory goes to be a replacement. I'm not going to wire over this chest. The chest probably doesn't read it. Yeah, chest was absolutely not worth it. But we've done it. It's been opened. Let's run up the coast here. We should be getting close to the end of the zone, into the next zone. Which means we're actually getting close to the end of the act, which is where we're going to stop for the current break. Well, for the next break. Probably try starting interloper level on difficulty for long dark next, uh, after taking a break. And probably putting on, well, I think I've got beans for dinner. So I'm gonna beans and that and stuff. So the beans are gonna take like an hour cook. So I'll probably put the beans on the boil simmer. Uh, and then while they're simmering for the hour, I will do longer and cook the beans until I succeed or fail at uh, like an hour of longer. Stunned me, that was... Oh, it's because the energy shield exploded that. That makes much sense. And have more life. I suppose the life mod for having no life on your armor would probably be good to have. 
because I'm wearing armor, so sort of by default that means I got no life on it. Can't have a stat on an item that you're not wearing. seconds so I had like 11 seconds to respond to them saying hey what's up where well, they were gone uh, at which point uh, they wouldn't hear my response well I had, I had, I had basically responded about 11 seconds I was the one to hear my response to them if they were looking for responses then uh, that might be what they didn't hear it. let's see how this goes Climb this pyramid here and tell the Val Spirit that it was a Val Spirit and uh, needs to rethink its life choices. I've been carrying the thing since Act 1. the end of Act 2. The Act 2 basically ends at the top of this pyramid. We can find the buff, find the stairs up. Door's closed. I'm trying to walk through a closed door. Doesn't work very well. There's the stairs. Yeah, that's not usually where the stairs are. That's the effect of Al Cider. Oh dear. Let's put those boots on. Oh no, it wasn't the boots, it was uh, the ring. Uh, yeah, 14, or one to, one to four more damage. So straight up to that. We'll get another one at 48. There's the other ring. How's the stat damage defense is working? Uh, not quite enough to want to turn off. Beauty elements. Yeah, we wouldn't be capped anymore if we turned pretty little ones off. Very good step in the direction of being able to turn it off. Which will mean we'll be immediately ready from a resistance standpoint to go into Act 6 when that's an option. Oh, there's the stairs. That will make the uh, climbing even easier. work. Now we are not that over leveled for murdering everything in our path on the way to request objectives. Uh, if it was a little bit faster with uh, trying to speedrun it, I could probably be a few lower level, but 
Only two over, so. Not. For someone sort of casually going to the axe, it's not bad. We're pulling something like a, an hour and act. An old speed up close to the end. probably figure out all the problems I've made with the face picker build on the way there, and regret many pa regret choices of past me. At least you should be able to regret those choices. Uh, current me is probably not caring very much. And up we go. Here's the top, here's the act boss, so we're gonna kill this act boss, and then we're gonna get into the act three town, and uh, probably, probably call it a night for Path of Exile, maybe swap over to Long Dark. Afterwards, random circles when this person pop up. Got a little bit more life that we don't need. We already got enough, enough life, enough hard life for the Act Three boss. So definitely don't need it for the Act Four boss. See this battle, sort of like fighting hella, basically just does donuts around this boss. While punching in his real direction at least he walk. And we're doing decent damage just because of the raw fire uh, price breaker. But the build besides that doesn't really have any damage yet. It's not even really the builds from just me thinking like and still points ahead of those. Giver for the first real quest in Act 3. We already got the hit points for Act 3, so. Act 3, when I try to get it, uh, maybe tomorrow will be real quick. Just fly through the act. Because uh, what we're basically doing for is more damage at this point for Act 3, which we're probably not really going to find unless it's in skill Castle 3, so. If I get lucky, I'll find a good uh, body armor. That would help a lot. Full shoes that are probably not used for the current build. Mm, check quickly. Moves it moves be increased mana regen, can't be frozen. That's until we get to 34, that's not actually bad. Let's go ahead and go back. We'll we'll run faster. Faster is better. Send hi to you, and then we just run into the act through town. Call it good. So, if you're watching this in VODs, I'll try to have uh, the earlier, quickly the act one parts up on YouTube at some point. Uh, if you're watching this VOD on YouTube, uh, they should already be up on YouTube by then. Uh, and hopefully, I'll have replaced the voiceovers for the beginning of the part. 
and uh, the, the check the part one. No, where I wasn't recording audio. Uh, I had it set up to monitor, so I was hearing myself talk, but it wasn't being saved. Okay. Well, talk to you all later.